Hey, what's up? I'm Allie. I don't even know how to start this video for one. Why am I in my car? Because the first intro I made is shit. In editing, Allie needed to fix it, but I don't have time. So we're on the go. As you guys may know, if you're following along with my channel, I'm currently in the middle of making over my library. Um, I just wasn't happy with it before. It was just a little too dark for my liking. But coming along with the library makeover, I realized I needed to do a bookshelf makeover as well. I was feeling quite uninspired recently with my shelves. I've had the rainbow shelves for years now, and, well, I'm kind of over it. So I was thinking of a good way to organize my shelves. I've done in the past by height, which I really liked. It's very aesthetically pleasing. And then, of course, I did the rainbow shelves, and I've done everything I feel like I can do to refresh and revive the rainbow shelves. I've done it where the rainbow, you know, is consistent throughout. I've done it where each shelf is a, a rainbow in itself. I've mixed up the colors of the rainbow. I have, like, staggered the rainbow. Like, I feel like I've just done everything. So I was like, what? What can I do for aesthetic purposes, pretty much only? Now, I, another thing that I really like is when I turn the books around. And I tend to do this around the spooky season. But this enrages people to no end. People are, they always, always comment, like, you can't be a reader if you organize your shelves like that. And I just, I don't, I don't get that. I also know that I don't know my collection as well as I used to. So I wasn't too comfortable with not knowing where all my books were. So I needed a way to see the titles, but also know what I had and like, you know, for aesthetics. 99% of this is for the aesthetics. So I was wondering, you know, I was wondering what I can do. So I came upon this crazy thought. And I know people are going to be so mad that I did this and spent my time and effort doing this. But you know, they're my shelves. I don't, I don't care. So I came up with the idea to wrap, wrap my books. Yep. Yep watched a few videos. This isn't like a new concept. People do this all the time for like school books. Just, you know, not for your 600 plus book collection. So I started this process and um, yeah, I'm going to talk more about the process. There's all kinds of clips because this has taken multiple days. It's taken multiple attempts apparently to explain what the hickety heck I'm doing. So the video of me reorganizing my shelves. So I am going to an alphabetical alphabetical system not quite in total alphabetical order by title so you guys will get to see some of that each shelf is basically a different letter in the alphabet except for anything that was like really you know I had like two books for like J yeah I'm gonna show you a little bit of the process of how I ended up wrapping these things what I used a little bit of the back end organization as well because you know I can't just organize things one way. I got to organize them in three different places for some reason. So some of that. And then the reveal of the bookshelves, which I'm so, I'm so excited about. I've been like, I've been putting off this video because I'm in a timeline. But as soon as I was done, I was like, I needed to go up because I want everyone to see how pretty it is. Take it away, other version of myself. As you can see, I decided to cover most of my books. Yes, I wrapped the majority of my books. I had actually looked into getting custom dust jackets made and oh boy, that was expensive, especially for a collection of my size. So I was like, how can I do this on a budget? This roll of like, it was in the painter section at Walmart. And I think you're supposed to put it down or use it when you wallpaper and things like that. And I was like, this will work perfectly. It's really thin, which is actually great because it allowed me to crease things better as I was making the covers. And I ended up only buying two rolls, so I spent a total of $5 on all that. Well, and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of um, wrapping. This has taken me weeks, weeks to do because I just did a little bit at a time, so I didn't lose my mind. I thought this would be a good method too because one, I'd be able to see the titles but keep this cohesive kind of look, but I could also write on them when I read them and also put my star review on there. I might in the future for certain things print out any reviews that I have and stick them on. We'll see as I live with this system for a while to see if it's something that I definitely want to keep. If it comes down to I end up not wanting this, the paper, it could be easily recycled or used for something else. 
but it will also help protect, I believe, the dust jackets to some extent because mine get a heavy amount of wear and tear because the animals are always up and down on the shelves. Like, I have many that have been torn from the animals, so I think this will protect it to some degree. And I can also put, like, if it's part of a series, I it's the 99 percent of this is for pure aesthetics so I'm doing this for aesthetics that's it that's it I'm trying to justify it but that's the truth so let's get into a little bit of the process of it so the process of it is I got this paper roll and I was using a tv tray which actually ended up working perfectly because it was basically the right size that I needed to cut for pretty much every single book. Get about an inch from the bottom and then I would line up the book with the bottom of that fold and then I would fold the top down and make a crease to know where I needed to really fold it. I'd move that away and then I would fold that over. Then I'd place the book in the middle. I would move the paper so that it would be hanging off both ends of the book, I guess, essentially. And then I would crease those, which would essentially become the flaps to the dust jacket and then I would so I would crease those and this paper was great for creasing and then I would um uh, yeah fold those over and then fit the book with the dust jacket on it so it's all in one place. I did end up using two different types of stamps a label maker and then just a plain marker to write the titles along the side and then if it was something that I read I did put the year that I read it and the star rating and this surprised me some of the series I feel like that I had like read last year and it's been like six years since I had finished them which blew my mind. Yeah I didn't do that with all the books though basically I left out anything that was green because the majority of the colors in my library are green. I left out anything that was brown anything that was kind of faded looking and as I was wrapping things I would check under and see if the just naked hardback would look fine on the shelves. So some of them I have taken the dust jacket off of. Basically I would look, even if it was a black book, it wouldn't necessarily work. If the font was too big or shiny, I might not have used it. I wanted something that definitely looked more old or kind of vintage looking. So it was just kind of a personal thing as I went through the journey. I'll see once they're on the shelves because I Still have to organize these. We're going on an organization adventure. And it was a very personal thing. Once they're on the shelves, I might see that more need wrapped. And that, I mean, that might just have to happen. I might need to see that I need to add more color. As I was wrapping books, I was then inserting them into a spreadsheet. This is my own book spreadsheet. However, on top of this, I am also making a Notion page that essentially is all the books in my library and then I can then sort them by read, unread, series, fantasy, genre, you know, things like that. But then I can also see the covers because that's big to me to see what all I have on my shelves. And then um, I'm hoping that, you know, this is something that I can use for a while. So that's kind of the other organization on the back end because we all know I am a sucker for a spreadsheet and for online organization so that is what I've been working on on the back side. I am now going to sort all the books. They're all coming off the shelves. What a bad transition. What do I have to say to keep you by by my side? How to start in a liquefy? Need you here to tell me that I'll be okay. Maybe one Love and two and I was three, three a.m. Thinking what if it's you and me at the end? Maybe we'll be okay. I know that you're coming back home.
that you're coming back home. Okay, the books are up. I don't know how I feel about them yet. I might end up having to wrap some more just because I have some sections that don't really have any wrapped somehow. It does kind of look like there's a lot of, I don't know, mismatch colors happening. I don't know. We'll see after because now I have some decorations and stuff to put on the shelves. I want enough room to put up some decorations. Seven hours later. Are we, are we ready for the final result? Of books through the years at the library next to my home, and some I held close to my chest so dear, but they were always on loan. But if the pages make me smile like a fool, maybe for once I won't follow the rules. I'll keep it until it's long overdue When I find my favorite book to read I've read a story that opened my eyes To the world and its passing time and another one sang a sweet song to my heart But the ending was sad from the start And then came along just an ordinary book That I happened to give a second look It was humor and heartbreak and something in between The most beautiful one I'd ever see And your pages made me smile like a fool Maybe for once I won't follow the rules I'll keep you until you're long So I'll pour over you till I know you by heart And when time wears you down, I'll mend your broken parts And I'll treasure the days with you that I'm spending I'm still waiting to read your ending And your pages make me Smile like a fool And for once I didn't Follow the rules I'm keeping you till You're long overdue So it's been a few days since I have had my bookshelves this way. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I love how just kind of cozy and antique-y, I guess, the room feels now. I feel like I've walked into like an old ancient library in some ways. I thought the colors were too mismatchy at first, but now that all the decorations are up and stuff, I feel like it just works out so well. So, um, yeah, I hope that you guys have liked this video, and I hope that you will stay tuned that I may eventually have a library makeover video coming. The footage is lost. I've been having a lot of uh, technical difficulties on my end, friends. So, hang in there. We're all hanging in there. Yeah. I hope you guys have liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see future videos from me. I hope that you are inspired in some way to reorganize your shelves in a new, new and unique way. And I will see you in the next one. Bye! Yeah, I'm falling back in love with me. All the hard dreaming in life.